Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on adding controls to a user form programmatically using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here a worksheet that I'll be using for this example, and I have a participants variable, research paper, quiz, and final exam variables. And these variables are empty, and I'm going to use this user form this green user form to populate data into these cells. So these are three assignments, a research paper, let's say it's a score of 50, a quiz, score of 70, and a final exam, 75. And a quick enter, and you can see it enters the data into this row and moves to the next row. So I'm going to modify this user form so that I can add controls to it programmatically. So when it initializes, it's going to look like this, plus a command button, an extra command button I'm going to put on the user form. And that command button is going to create two new controls that will appear on this user form and be usable. So let's take a look at the code. I'll move over to the VBA editor, Alt F11. And here's the code I have so that the user form functions the way it does now. The command button code here that adds the text box values to the cells and resets it to the next row. And then a, another subroutine that clears out the text boxes and resets the focus to text box one. When this user form initializes, the captions dynamically populate from the variable names, in this case, research paper, quiz, and final exam. And here is the user form that I'll be working on. So first I'm going to add a new command button to this user form using the toolbox here. So I'm just going to select command button and drag that over. Now I already have a command button on here, so that's going to be command button one unless I renamed it, and this one would be command button two. So command button two, I'm gonna double click this, and you can see it's private sub command button two quick, and this is where I'm gonna put the new code that's going to programmatically add a couple controls to the user form. Paste this in, and I'm gonna change these values here in just a moment. First we'll go over this subroutine. I'm going to declare user form as a control and it's set user form control me.controls add forms.listbox.one. So this is a list box that I'll be adding and the name is my list box. And it's the same thing here for the second control, the text box. Same code except for forms.textbox.one I just changed the name to my text box. So we can see we have in this width statement the width, height, top, and left. These four values. I'm just going to leave the Z order at 1 for the list box and 0 for the text box. But for these four properties, we can guess you know, the width and the height, the top and left but we don't have to guess. We can position the control just as we want it to appear, and then we can extract these values from the properties of that control. So if we move over here, main, bring the user form back up. I'm gonna move over to a list box control here on the toolbox, and I'm gonna position that toward the middle of this user form, right about there. And then I want to add a text box control as well. I'm going to put that above the list box control and try to make it pretty close to the same size as the other text boxes. Now I'm just looking at it here to make this judgment. If you want this to be precisely the same size, you can get the properties 
from this original text box. So select it and move over to properties and you can see the height 20.25 and the width 102. So if I move to this text box you can see the height 20.25 and the width 108. So just by looking at it I was off by 6. So it would be 102 was the value for the first text box. So let's use that one. Let's use 102 for the width. We'll move over here to text box. 102, the height will be 20.25. So the height and width will match the current text box. Then we need the top and the left. So again, with this text box selected, Going to move over and look for top. That's 42. And left is 168. So that's going to be the position where this text box is now, this new text box. So top 42, left 168. 42 and 168. For the list box, I'm just going to do the same thing. Move over, select the list box, and then move the values over. So I'll start with width, that's 72. The height, 114. The top is going to be 114. So it's going to be the same value as the height. And left, it's going to be 174. So that's the exact size and position of the list box control that I've added to this user form. So before I continue and test out this code, I need to delete this text box and this list box that I put on here. This was just to get the height, width, top, and left values. So I'm going to delete these. And let's take a look at the user form, loading it up on the worksheet. We can see it just has the original text boxes and this command button 2 and the original command button. Nothing else. I press the command button and I have those two controls where I wanted them. The code that I used to add this text box and this list box to the user form programmatically can also be used to add a variety of other controls. Do the same code, just change the control that's added and of course if you want change the name. I hope you found this video on adding controls to a user form programmatically to be useful and thanks for watching.